Congressman Kevin Brady, ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee, which holds the purse strings, joins me now. Congressman, forgive me, but I've got a bone to pick with you. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, uh, good to see you, too, by uh, the way. Good to see you, too, <laughs> sir. Yes, great to have you on the show. I, I understand that your party is planning on using the debt ceiling negotiations to get spending cuts from the administration. I don't think that works. I think it just really annoys people, especially if it leads to a government shutdown. You get the blame. Yeah, so I don't I don't I expect our debts to be paid in on time. This won't be 2018 where Speaker Pelosi and Democrats voted to default on our debt. And we will, though, I think, have an adult conversation about what is the trajectory of our deficits. Is there a way to both spur growth and put some common sense guardrails around spending that would get us in a better place? That's how I predict that will go. And I will do while we're on the conversation. I just heard the claim about Republicans, Social Security, Medicare. I would point out that's been fact-checked as false with four Pinocchios, but we're in that campaign season where Democrats are a little desperate. OK, people are indeed struggling with inflation, that's for <clears> sure. <throat> yes. And you say taming inflation is front and centre. How exactly are you going to do it? Yeah, so part of our commitment to America, probably the lead one, is an economy that's strong. And what you'll see House Republicans do is focus on less government spending, less taxes and regulation, that fuel inflation under President Biden, and more American-made energy, more workers reconnected to their jobs, and more innovation in supply chains that lower inflation. And so you will see basically Republicans take the opposite tack of this president, who today we just saw new reports, the average pay cut for Americans because of Biden inflation is the highest in 25 years. It is a month's worth of their salary, so today, they're digging into their savings, skipping meals, delaying retirement. Their nest egg has also gone, da gone down by about a quarter. So most Americans know <laughs> Joe Biden's economy is a very cruel one. Would you, would you agree with this? No matter what you do, no matter what the administration does, we're going to have at least a 6% consumer price inflation rate for the foreseeable future. Would you agree with that? You know, I think because of the president's actions in the Federal Reserve, I think that's likely. Unfortunately, we shouldn't be in this. And I think today's sure. economic report points this out. Now, President Biden has missed expectations in six out of the seven economic quarters he's led, even though those numbers have been dumbed down over time. And it's because he drove inflation, this worker shortage, so hard and, frankly, has no plan to get out of it at all. So I think it's a, unfortunately... I think Americans will pay a very steep price for his, his economic failures. Congressman Kevin Brady, it's a real shame that you're retiring, but we do understand these things, and we hope you can come yes, back sir. and see us before you actually walk out of Congress. Thank you. We yes, will. Sir. we got still got work to do, Stu. Yes, sir, we do. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Kevin.